Hey guys, welcome back. It's Nick the Booksmith. I hope everybody is having a good day. It is Monday. Is it is it a Monday for you? You know, a Monday. Not too bad for me. I think compared to last week, I can tackle any Monday. Okay, so today I wanted to do something kind of fun, um, something that has been on my mind for a little while, and that was like um, grandma brag book or mama brag book or dad or grandpa, whomever, auntie, uncle, what you know, doesn't matter. So little brag books, um, something that that we could all use or share. Uh, something that would be a great addition to a gift, um, especially if you are somebody that takes a lot of Instagram photos, things like that. So you don't even have to keep it to just like, you know, bragging about children. It can be pets or maybe you're into like flowers in your garden. You could have a flower brag book. Uh, maybe you're into gardening and you grew the biggest pumpkin ever. Maybe it's a pumpkin brag book. Um, it could be anything. It's kind of like a zine um, as far as like kind of how you put it together, but um, just kind of more in a, in a brag book kind of way. Um, the first thing I was thinking about is, you know those um, scrapbook pieces on the, the pages on the, in the back of the pad and they're like a, you know, a six by six, right? Well, I ended up cutting one in half this in this direction, and here's one of them, and then this is the other half. I'll show you what I did. So I cut it in half, you know, horizontally, and then what I did was I scored it down the middle, and I chopped off an inch and a half off of either side. So when you do that, you have you know you have this right and it makes it makes a little um, a little page let's see how do I want to do this I guess uh, does it matter no it doesn't matter I'm just overthinking things okay so I'm gonna score down the middle a like such and so forth Gonna need that again. And then I just kind of lined it up on, oh, I didn't score very well, did I? Then you line it up if it lines up. And I'm gonna take an inch and a half off of either side. Okay. So there is that, and now you have some little baby bingo cards if you want. <laughs> All right. So now you can decide what you want to be the outside of your book. And I'm gonna choose this one since it has photographs on it. And I'm just gonna pop one of these pages inside the other, maybe just like this and then I'm going to take an awl and it's going to roll away from me and I'm just going to poke a hole in the center I'm going to poke a hole about an inch from the bottom and about an inch from the top so just right there in the fold three little three little pigs right there right there now, let's take some twine, some twine. Oh wait, this one already has, this one already has some, some twine on it. Yay! So, I'm gonna go in from the outside through the middle, leaving a tail. I'm gonna go up to the top set of holes, come through. I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom set of holes. Go through again. And then I'm gonna go back through the middle. Like that. Okay, all tied together. 
we are good to go. Now you can either leave the front um, like it is. You can, you can set things out of your reach so that you have to get up and go get them. All right, so here is, like here is some craft paper. I'm just gonna rip some off. You can make it as big or as little as you like. You can ink around the edges. You can, you know, you know. So let's give this a little bit of an inking. Make it look dirty. And then you know you can put your you can put your little um, label right here. Let's get out. Okay, get out some stamps. I think these are going to be too big. Maybe, maybe not. We, we'll see. We will see. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, it's going to be so close. These are kind of big stamps. Okay. F. A, M, I, where's the L, L, and, man, the Y is massive, family, <laughs> exactly how I meant it to look, exactly. Except now I have to like trim off this edge because now this edge looks too close. So don't do as I do, do as I say, stamp it first, rip it out, then ink it. Didn't you guys know it was backwards day? <laughs> so that can go on there. Here is some yes paste. We're gonna try this today. Exciting. I have like nothing to paint on. All right, so here is our, our label that goes on the front, okay? So this is one kind of booklet. Now let's do, let me show you another one. Get all this stuff out of the way. Man, this Yes Paste is like, it's like tree sap sticky, okay. So another thing you can do, let's say you only have some craft cardstock, you know, that, that, that's it, that's all, that's all you got, man. And so this is what you do. You, again, we're going to, we're going to score this in the middle. So this is um, eight and a half, so I'm gonna score at uh, four and a quarter. And then I'm also gonna score at, since it's 11, I'm gonna score at five and a half. I like that, I just like that. So I'm gonna fold it in half, lengthwise. And then I'm gonna fold it again, this way. Remember, we kind of did this with the zine. And then I'm gonna just grab the scissors and come on. My folding doesn't want to be even. And then I'm just gonna take the teeny, teeny, tiniest little sliver off the folded top of these. So then that way we have two extremely even pages like that. Okay, so now we have this little guy, right? And you can make it out of um, any kind of thickness of craft cardstock. It doesn't have to be um, super thick or super thin. Uh, this one's kind of in the middle, I'd say. And um, pick out some twine or some string or, you know, whatever 
just whatever. Did you ever, did you ever get, don't whatever me from your mom? <laughs> I got that a lot. I got that a lot, a lot, a lot. And just thread your needle. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm in from the outside. Leave a tail go up to the top. Go down to the bottom. And then in through the middle, but on the other side of this vertical string. Be very careful and tighten up your string. And then just tie a knot or a bow or whatever floats your boat. And then you have several pages inside this one. Alternatively, you can do the same thing on, on this or this. And ta-da! It's like, oh, the angels are singing. Thank you, Hallie. <laughs> so you can also staple the middle if you just don't want to be messed with it. If you don't want to mess with it, just staple it. And then if you want to hide the staples on the outside, you can always take a little piece of fabric and glue it onto the spine or maybe like this cool piece, this, um, this strip of like ledger paper, you can fold, you know, give this a fold. And then snip it where it's the length. put some glue on the back of this puppy and then we'll just we'll hide our staples we'll pretend that they're not even there if you can't see it it's not there right if you can't see the wind it isn't there if you can't see taxes they're not there if you can't see your mother-in-law no <laughs> kidding 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 okay I my hand. I don't think you can wipe. That's the bad thing about Yes Paste. So all the adhesives are going to have their issues, right? Well, Yes Paste is like, you know, tree sap. And then just kind of fold it in the middle. And you might have to give this just a second to kind of, you know, set up and do its thing. It takes, Yes Paste takes a minute to, um, to set up. It stays kind of uh, sappy gooey. So, just a warning, just a warning. And so you have to keep, you have to like keep going and washing your hands. Okay, now, what are we gonna do now? So you can, again, do a little family family thing on here. You can see that this one is a little bit smaller because we had to abide by the, um, you know, the eight and a half by 11 regular sheet of paper. So instead of, you know, making it a bigger one, it's smaller. But it doesn't matter because uh, um, I took some cream colored cardstock and I cut these pieces at three and a quarter by four and a half. And right now you are asking me how many millimeters that is. Hold on. So three and a quarter is about 95 by 114 millimeters approximately, okay? And what we're gonna do, let's just do it on this one, or this one, one of these. I'm gonna leave the front blank. Open this up. I'm gonna pop this sucker right here, <laughs> maybe. This this paste takes some getting used to, I think. I think, I think it's, um. And I'm not good with change. But there's a big jar of paste, and guess what? I'm gonna use it. It will be used. Of course, it's like 
getting tree sap everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of just not really center it on the page. I'm gonna leave a little bit more room toward the bottom. Okay, so there's that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some photographs and we're gonna make these look like little Polaroids. And you can use your Instagram photos. You can print those out and cut them down. I am gonna use a three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch photo um, on this. And so three and a quarter. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. So three and a quarter is about 81 millimeters. That sound right, metric people? And you're saying, but Nick, I don't have anything to brag about. I don't have any kids or pets or pumpkins. Well, it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna lend you some of mine. Okay, so there's gonna be a page down, um, the link will be down below at Flickr and I will let you borrow my long last relatives. These are uh, three and a quarter inch pictures. Um, just be sure to have these guys back for dinner and we'll be good. Uh, don't turn your back on them. Um, some of them are kind of, some of them are kind of, you know, you can't trust them as far as you can throw them. So I'm just going to warn you now, I'm just going to warn you now. So we're going to cut these out in an Instagram <laughs> format just for you, just for you guys. This is, this is a uh, great Auntie Gertrude, and she is on the beach, dressed fully <laughs> in a dress and shoes and a hat with her camera, looks like a Kodak. This is Cousin Jeb when he was a baby, and he started smoking the next year. This is Great Grandpa Albert, and Great Grandpa Albert was a mortician in his spare time. So let's cut out Great Grandpa Albert and his sidekick bones. You know, bones. These were your second cousins, twice removed. And you weren't always really sure if you should be allowed to play with them. Yeah, yeah, this is Molly, Dolly, and Polly. And Molly loved her shotgun, so yeah. They were, they were not a good influence on you, sorry. Sorry if you were scarred. Uh, this is going to be your great, great, great step uncle, James Williams. James Williams had a checkered past. He um, made some bad decisions over and over and over and over again. And, um, you didn't see him after he was about 32 years old. We don't know what happened to him. He, he disappeared. And this chubby cheek little cherub is Betty. And Betty was your mother's fourth cousin on her father's side, we think. She was a sweet child at least in front of the camera, but not in front of the camera. Betty was a hellion. So here's the family. You are welcome. I need to get a little piece of, you know, wax paper to, all right. So, you know, however you want to start out your book is fun. <laughs> you know, if you start out with the chubby cheeked little cherub chick baby, then, you know, things will go well with you. There we go. There she is. 
little Betty. Bless her little pea pick and heart. There's Betty. Oh, sweet little Betty. Okay. And it might be easier. Come to think of it. Might be easier to uh, do this before you stick it in. So we're gonna we're we're gonna go to Great Grandpa. He was an odd bird, but we loved him. He looked the other way when we grabbed the whiskey bottle when we were ten. There's Grandpa Albert. Molly, Dolly, and Polly. Trouble, I say. Trouble with the capital tr. They got you in more trouble. And they never got into trouble, ever. They never got caught doing anything. It was always your fault. Always. You got thrown right under the bus. They're there. Trouble. Well, and sweet, sweet little boy. Yeah, we're gonna put him here. This is before he went down the road of fast cars and loose women and tobacco. He looked so innocent when he was four. his little heart. Oh, Aunt Gertrude. She's a firecracker. She was. Oh, great Uncle James. You know, poor guy. He had a weakness for the ponies. We will remember him fondly. All right, and I've cut out the little quotes. You'll also see those in Flickr. And we are going to add some quotes to our, our little family here. And sweet little pumpkin pie, sweet little bunga pie. So with this one, I have, there was a little girl who had a little curl. Do you guys remember that rhyme? There was a little girl who had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. And when she was good, she was very, very good. And when she was bad, she was horrid. <laughs> yep, this is her. Okay, so there's that one. And then I might have to. Okay, now we're gonna do our, our Auntie Gertrude here and the yes paste has been put away because I have no patience to play with tree sap today. Just no, no patience. You know, I have a pa I have patience for lots of things and tree sappy glue is not one of them. I will still use it, just not today. With Gertrude, I have, take a picture, it'll last longer. One of the first paparazzi was Aunt Gertrude. And put the quotes wherever you want. Wherever you want. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna do another kiddo. Oh, bless his heart. <sighs> Where did he go wrong? Where did he go wrong? Innocence is lost. We're gonna put him right there. And his quote is, trouble is my middle name. So if you print this, uh, the quote page out on um, tea stained paper uh, and then cut it out and, um, and then you can ink around the edges if you so choose. If you wanna use, you know, the family I have provided you and great great grandpa Albert and his buddy Bones will go on the next page. All right, 
right like that. And his little quote is, Bones is a great companion. He doesn't talk much though. So that will go right there. Okay. Now I think I'm gonna do these little girls, Dolly, Molly, and Polly, in the front here with cherub cheeks. And the quote that goes with them is, you'll put your eye out. They should have never let Dolly have that shotgun. Because she did put Polly's eye out and then Polly had to wear a patch. <sighs> Poor Polly. Oh, James. Wherefore art thou? And James's quote is, has anyone seen me? Well, maybe if they went to Dedham Prison, they would find you there. Nope, <laughs> I'm gonna do it upside down. That's exactly what. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. And then on the front of our little rogues gallery booklet, I took a piece of this uh, craft paper again, just to do it. Cause I said I had craft paper and I said you could use craft paper. And so we're, we're gonna do it. I'm just gonna kind of put it about right there. I have a strip of photos left over from when I cut this apart. So we're just gonna use this as kind of a little, little focal point here. On the front. And then the last quote that you will see, you gotta love them, their family. Oh, isn't it true? And though, there it goes, right there. And then I think what would be a cute thing to do um, is to put, you can stamp the date uh, or, it, or the year that the pictures came from, I think would be super cool. Um, you, you don't have to use my rugs gallery. <laughs> You can definitely use your own rugs gallery, uh, your own puppies or your own pumpkins. Feel free to use your own puppies and your own pumpkins. And then on the very back page, you are welcome to leave it blank or you can sign that puppy. Put your stamp there. So people know that you've been there. Uh, they know who to blame. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little project and I hope you make some little Polaroid brag books. I just think they're cute. I just think they're cute. And of course, the little bit larger size, this one will be cute too. So however you do it, go do it, man. Um, so the printouts will be at my Flickr page, like I said, link is down below. Um, just a little FYI at the, um, at the Flickr page. Since I updated the, um, uh, my brain, since I updated the Booksmith Planner Kit to have the 2019, um, calendar on the ledger page, um, in the kit that you that you purchase. My uploads are maxed out for Etsy. I can't add anything else. So if you still need the 2018 page, if you wanted to make a planner for the rest of this year and you still need a 2018 page, I also put it at Flickr. So no worries if you get the Booksmith Planner Kit and you still need 2018, just go to my Flickr, it's there. 2019 is there and then also that bill organizer um, both 2018 and 19 are also there 
All right, guys, have a lovely, lovely day. Thanks for for hanging out with me today and playing and making some little brag books and and uh, yeah, letting me ramble and talk to you and you know all that good stuff. And um, yeah, I'll see you really soon in the next video. Bye, guys.